Hey everybody, welcome back to Here's an Idea. A minute and a half or so of Marketing Insight. I'm Hal Bryce. Do you have a moment map for your brand? Do you know what a moment map is? Well, if not, you should. It seems that the purchase funnel and the path to purchase have been replaced by a circular system of moments. And that's driven by mobile. There's a uh, blog out there that I, it's called Think with Google, and it's all the analytics people at Google just telling you what they're finding out as the world evolves on a second-by-second -second basis. And let's face it, who knows more about you than Google? Nobody. So anyway, they just put out a report about the impact of mobile on marketing and just the way people are living with it these days, and I think you'll find it fascinating. There will be a link to it on our blog. So everything is really about moments now. In fact, 82% of people surveyed have made a decision in the moment using their smartphone while in a retail store. So they come into your establishment, they look at something, and to decide if they like it or if there's a better alternative, they check their phone. That's a moment. Secondly, people solve problems in the moment. Has this happened to you? Suddenly plans change, you've gotta go do something right now and you can't figure out how to do it. So where do you go? You go to your smartphone. The answers are always there. 62% of people deal with a problem that comes up last minute using their phone. And here's another thing I think is really fascinating. 90% of people pursue their big goals in small moments. And finally, Google discovered that about 91% of people use routine moments to pursue something new. So you're sitting on the exercise bike, you're taking a walk, you're doing something routine, you're mowing the grass, and you're pursuing new things just to keep your interest peaked. And the phone is an incessant source of new things. So how can you really take advantage of what's going on now with the power of mobile? There's five things that Google says you should do. Number one, make a moments map. Identify a set of moments that you wanna win with your customer or you just can't afford to lose. Just look at the journey that customers make and just see where you can be to add something helpful. Number two, understand customer needs in that moment. For those moments you wanna win, what would make this easier or faster for the customers is the question you have to ask. Use context to deliver the right experiences, number three. So you know you have contextual signals like where people are, the time of day it is, uh, where they're coming at you from, and you can tailor your messages to make a sale better and easier for the customer. Number four is optimize the journey. You know who does this really well? Amazon. You can add something on your laptop to your cart and it'll be on your iPad when you get home. So that is an important part. People expect seamless transition from one medium to the next. Number five, measure every moment that matters. You can't afford to underserve your customers while you're dealing with measurement gaps. So you might not get an immediate return investment on measuring these moments, but you need to start doing it because this is where the future is. So it's pretty clear to me, understanding those moments that matter, diving into them, making sure that you're there for your customers when they need you, that's going to translate into more brand engagement, more emotional connection, and higher sales. That's Here's an Idea, I'm Hal Bryce.